Hey there, it's Whitney with MessengerOfSpirit.com and today we're gonna to be talking about what's blocking you. What's blocking you from your intuition, from understanding the messages that you're receiving from your spirit guides, from your life purpose, from abundance. What is blocking you? So let's dive right in. One of the biggest blocks that I tend to see is fear. A lot of times we have fear of really, really learning about who we are and what we're actually really powerful in creating in our life. I know that you might be listening to me and saying, that's crazy, I don't think that at all. Well, consciously, we're probably never going to admit to being afraid of our potential, but usually down deep, this can be a big block from our life purpose, this can be a big block. And a lot of times when we are ready to really live our life purpose, but there's a part of us that's really feeling blocked, it's because we are afraid of change. And this can be we're afraid of change and how this is going to affect finances. How is this gonna affect my friendships and my family? How is this gonna affect who I am at the core level? How is this gonna affect my vibration? These are all different fears that we can have, but really we can just be afraid of our own potential. We can be afraid that we can't make a difference. We can be afraid that we can make a difference. It just depends on what your block personally is. Sometimes we're afraid for our light to shine too big or too bright, or we'll think that we can't step into the spotlight. We're gonna feel guilty if we do, or we don't want everyone looking at us. Or maybe you think that you can't. Maybe you think that you feel like, I just can't do that. I could never succeed in that. Well, that is going to be a fear. Now, you know me, if you have those fears, I really want to help you walk through them so that you can move toward your life purpose. Because when we do make those changes, they are really important and it can be scary. So fear is something that you'll have to eliminate. And if you feel like you can't eliminate it, just walk through it and make it smaller. And it's one of the things that I love talking about inside of Intuition Abundance Academy and inside of the challenge that I do is because it's important that we remove the blocks. Now, another big block that we can have that we don't even know is there can be guilt. We feel guilty. I feel guilty if I am really just living my abundant self when other people are suffering. Or I feel guilty charging for my services when other people can't afford it. Or I feel guilty shining my light and talking about how happy I am when other people aren't doing so well. If you relate to any of those things, then I totally feel you. But one of the big things that I teach is when you shine your light, you are a wonderful living example of who you are and someone that is walking their path. And by being who you are and shining your light, you're gonna help others do so as well. So this is something that please don't let it hold you back. Sometimes we feel guilt if we change our life direction. And if we change our life direction, how will that affect our family or what will people think? Or then I have to answer a million questions about why I decided to do this. You don't have to explain you may want and choose to explain, but not everyone's gonna understand and it's not your job to make them understand. So your job is to shine your light and be who you are. Now, I know we had already talked about fear, but I do wanna bring up that we can have fear of talking to spirit. We can have fear of really tapping into our intuition. And the reason I'm bringing it up is because sometimes we're afraid of the own answers that we're gonna get from our higher self, or we're afraid of the answers we're gonna get from our spirit guides because we don't want that change. Or maybe we're afraid that we can't talk to spirit because you're thinking that it's evil or you're thinking that it's not good. So those types of things are old stories that you've told yourself. And if you're ready for that shift and that change and knowing that who you really are at the core and your spirit helpers that are around you only want the positive for you. If you're ready for that, then I'm excited to help you get there. And I hope that you break through to shine your light even more. Now, another big block that I do tend to see is worthiness. And I know that when I say that, a lot of people don't say, yeah, that's me. Again, it's not necessarily a conscious thing, but I can tell the symptoms of the worthiness by the way people speak, 
the way that they talk about themselves, the fears and those types of things. So they might say, I can't, I can't talk to spirit. Like I could never do that. Or I don't have that gift or I don't have that ability or yeah, you know, I just didn't get that opportunity. Listen, <laughs> when you really claim your space, and you really are you, and you really truly are ready to help and serve others, all of those things fade away. Now, that doesn't mean that it just magically fades away when you wake up one morning, you have to do the work. But those things become less of a resistance. They become smaller because you know that you are here on this earth to serve a certain mission. Now your mission, your purpose is going to be different than mine. And so maybe the way that you show up for shining your light is completely different, but it's what you feel inside and what you feel excited to do, to help others, to create, to teach, whatever that might be. And I really would love to see it. So what I'd love for you to do is take a few moments and take a deep breath. Breathe out, <sighs> connect in to your heart. Just connect into your heart. And you can do so by visualizing green or pink light. And then I'd love for you to go a little bit down, down into the solar plexus, so into your belly almost. Connect in with this beautiful spark of yellow light. And you're just gonna be very gentle with yourself and you're just gonna say, what's blocking me? What's, what's blocking me? What is it? Maybe something comes up where you think, I just don't have it. I just don't have that gift. Or I got the, I don't have any luck. Or I got the bad hand that was dealt to me. Or I just wasn't given that opportunity. Whatever those things are, that is a block that you're ready to shift. Now, one of the things that I truly believe in, and you can always check out my previous videos, is that we have to take 100% responsibility for what we do, what we say, and the actions that we're taking. And also, sometimes we can easily believe that we are a victim in our circumstances, but I truly believe we create our reality and it takes the go-getter, it takes that passion, it takes that drive to know that you deserve to live your life purpose and to connect with spirit and that you are deserving, you are worthy. And also that nobody has a special gift to their intuition as far as you have a gift and you don't. Everyone has the ability. What I like to call gifts are that special secret sauce that you're ready to offer the world what your life purpose is to help others. And you can receive intuition in very different ways as well. So hopefully that helps. I just want you to be aware of what it is so that you can walk through it, plow through it, bust through it, and continue to take action. And I would love to see you inside of our free three-day challenge all about removing blocks, aligning to your life purpose, connecting to your intuition, and creating a plan with your spirit guides to do so. And you can join this free three-day challenge at messengerofspirit.com forward slash challenge. Hope to see you there.